up everyone welcome to totally exposed and today we're going to be looking at what we think is the best budget dslr camera slider on the market today let's do it So if you're not sure what a camera slider is, I can pretty much guarantee you've seen one in action. Um, it's a piece of equipment that you can plonk your camera on, slide it back and forth, and get some really nice, smooth, steady panning shots. It works great for your product shots when you're shooting B-roll, or for setting the scene of the environment before a close take, all sorts of stuff. So the slider we got is the Cordatron 24 inch camera slider. We got ours from Amazon and of course the link to the slider can be found in the video description below so we'd love it if you go and check that out. It's really easy to assemble and it comes in a bunch of colours. So what should you be looking for when you're looking to buy a slider? Well like with most things you can go pretty balls out and spend absolutely loads of money on carbon fibre sliders, sliders with counterweights, belt drives, all sorts. The one that we've bought here isn't as fancy as all that but it is made out of aluminium alloys, so it's reasonably lightweight, and it's got a few handy features like these spirit bubbles here that help you ensure everything's all as straight and level as possible for your shots. It has a few mounting points as well, so you can set this thing up mounted on one, two, or even three tripods if you wanted to. But if you didn't want to mount it on a tripod, it's also got these little adjustable feet that help you get everything nice and level if you're shooting straight off the ground, which is nice and handy. So ideally you want something that's going to be as smooth and as sturdy as possible if you're looking to up your video game and get some more professional looking results. Now, if you spend a little bit more money, you're definitely going to find it easier to get smoother results. But this example isn't bad at all. You know, it's leaps and bounds ahead of having no slider at all. So for the money, we think it's a winner. As you'll see from some of the sample shots, you can really start to get some professional looking footage. It's all going to help add some movement to your video when you're filming your products or B-roll footage. So whilst you can mount your camera directly to the sled part of the slider and shoot that way, we found it much easier to install a ball head on the slider which gives you much more flexibility when using the slider and for composing your shots. We picked up a reasonably cheap ball head to use with our slider and we've added a link to that as well in the video description below. Now if you already have a tripod with a ball head you may be fine with that but for our purposes we opted for the ball head to be actually mounted to the sled of the slider and then shoot from there. With the ball head installed it's now much easier to get a whole bunch of interesting shots such as overhead shots almost kind of looking down like a bird's eye view of something or for shots pointing up at something to give your composition a whole different perspective. So that's about it. There's only so much you can really say about a budget slider, but we think that this is a great additional tool you should add to your kit to start up in your video game and start taking some more interesting and professional looking footage. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for more photography and videography related videos. And we'll see you in the next one.